If you want to know how you can create your own digital planner directly in good notes, yes, good notes, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, the weird creator behind Akai Hana Art. And for this community, I create videos and assets for illustration, design, and digital planning. If you like these kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything, and like the video if you want to watch more videos related to this one. I have a design background. So for me, using a designing uh, app or software, it's something that I know and I can do pretty easy. But I know that many digital planner creators are not design savvy. That's why I want to create a few tutorials about how to create your own digital planning in note-taking apps or Keynote. Um, I have already done some videos on how you can create your own digital planner in Keynote and if you haven't seen that video, I will leave the link in the description down below and right here also. For this video in particular, I want to show you a few products that I have created for my Etsy shop and it would make creating your own digital planning in a note-taking app like GoodNotes pretty easy and pretty fast. I know that many people are really good at creating shapes that will allow you to create layouts in good notes, but I have to say I can't. <laughs> so for that matter, I wanted to create products that will make that task very easy. The first product is a product that uh, has been on my Etsy shop for a while. These are sets of open notebook, cover and insert that are basically PNG files that you can toss directly to GoodNotes and design your own planner. Already designed, very cute design uh, covers uh, that if you're like me and you like to change your planner very often, um, this you, you can get for a very cheap price. Also, if you don't know me for a while, and that's okay, I create, I have created layout brushes for um, designing your own digital planner on Procreate. Um, but not many people use Procreate to design their planners. So I have turned my brushes into PNG files that you can add directly to your note-taking app. It could be good notes or any note-taking app, like they were stickers, and you can use them as layouts. These are basically layouts, like line work of the layout. Um, and they have no color no background, no shadow, and you can toss them in any type of uh, white planner. It could be a uh, original mock-up, you know, like a picture of a notebook, or it could be a mock-up, digital mock-up, like the ones I sell. So without further ado, let's get to good notes and start creating our own digital planner. Okay, here we are in GoodNotes 5 and to start we can add directly the image of our planner cover or our open book directly uh, into GoodNotes and it's going to be with a white background. Um, this is pretty cool, this is just for uh, realistic purposes it won't do anything because we don't have hyperlinks here. So the next image that we're going to add is going to be the open book. And after we do that, we can start adding our layouts. As I told you, you can do this uh, by creating uh, shapes to in, uh, directly in, in GoodNotes. But for me, 
it takes ages to do that. So here uh, we have one of my um, yearly uh, designs and I'm trying to customize it uh, in order to um, make it, you know, like actual, the actual layout. So we are going to start with the year and we are going to be adding the first six months of the year. And then you're going to see me uh, copy and paste that in the next page. So um, it is going to copy and paste in the same size with the same fonts and everything and then we can customize the other page with the months the, the rest six months that we have left left um, on this on this 2021 the cool thing about this layout is that we can add the days of depending on the month we can add them by hand and also down uh, uh, down the numbers we can add important events birthdays or uh, meetings or things like that we even can uh, make goals for every single month that we can track on uh, the rest of the year so i'm really uh, i really love this layout this yearly layout Okay, now we have finished and we are going to add our monthly spread. Uh, remember that the PNG files that I have created have uh, one page and two pages design. So for example, I'm going to be using the two pages design for monthly. Uh, so we have four days in one page and three days in the other page. Um, this allows me to have a space for notes and things like that. Um, also, you are going to see me customizing this, this uh, layout and making it a really nice spread. So let's begin by adding the name of the month. We are going to add January. And then we are going to add the days of the week, like this. Okay, 
now we have all our uh, days of the week and now for adding the numbers of the month of the day every day of the week um, you can use the highlighter or you can use the the pencil to do that like this like this or you even you can create a little square uh, to add the the date of the week like this oh sorry perfect now we are going to get to the um, weekly spread let me show you how the weekly spread is going to look like I'm going to be using this one okay um, I'm going to do the same I'm going to try to um, customize one and then copy and paste um, in the other page so it is going to paste in the same size as the one that we copy and that saves us a little bit more of time. Also, many people sell stickers with the name of the day. So this part that here took me a little while, it could be really fast if you uh, have one of those uh, stickers that have the name the name of the day um, and it's going to be pretty fast so we're going to add Monday here so you can see how it looks is tricky okay and um, you can do this with every single day but it's going to take a lot so for this matter I'm going to just be doing one day also um, if you don't want the week to have eight boxes you know like I I don't mind because I like to add notes or, or to do's or important events for the um, for the week I don't mind the layout to have eight boxes but if you just want to uh, have seven boxes for the days the days of the week you can uh, crop this with the freehand uh, tool and uh, remove one of the boxes like this and you can add here another layout like a tracker or something like this like this perfect now we are going to do the daily spreads and I don't mean uh, if you like to have all the spreads in one planner it's great but for me it's just I, I like to have my monthly and weekly because uh, for me um, I don't I don't plan daily uh, at least not so many boxes at this um, so now that we want we have all the spreads customized we are going to copy and paste the ones that we want for example we have the weekly layout and we uh, select that spread copy and then uh, if you select done you have this little um, arrow here and it says add page after and we can paste that same page uh, let's say four or five times that is the um, amount of weeks that a month has and we can uh, have all or our um, weeks ready 
when we want to go and um, plan. Uh, once we have pasted the weeks, we can add another month and customize that month to the next month. For example, this one was January and we are going to customize February. So we go to that page at February like this and we can go back to those little four um, squares and it's going to show you all the pages that your planner has Thanks for watching i hope you find it useful and you were able to learn how to create your own digital planner in good notes before i go i want to let you know a couple of things First of all, the products that you have seen in this video are already on my Etsy shop and pretty soon I will be slowly but surely uh, turning my brushes, my layout brushes into PNG files. So expect trackers, expect um, recipe booking layouts, expect um, fitness and many, many more. Um, also, I want to keep on creating more brushes for the people that are also use Procreate. Uh, I have a bunch of products for layer brushes for digital planning uh, really in mind. So if you're a planner creator and you like digital planning or you're just starting and you want to, you know, like get into this uh, with a safety environment that you can ask and you can uh, share um, I really recommend to you my patreon I have joined the patreon community and I have created a safety place where you can pledge in a little bit of money you can get digital stickers, digital stationery, you can get a different type of planner, journal, or things like that every single month. And if you want to start knowing and learning how to create your own digital planner, I also have like a little academy in there where I post also tutorials and I get the original files to you so you can know more or less how I arrange my layers and how I do what I do. So if you're interested in joining the Patreon community, I will leave the link to the Patreon in the description down below and you can go and check around the things that we create in there. But for now, that's it. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!